You know, I haven't made fish in a while. Well, come to think of it, I've never made fish at all for this show. So I thought today is the day we make some. But not just an ordinary version. It's going to be packed with flavor and extremely fun to eat. And also to make. Today, we're going to make some lemongrass fish sticks with sweet sour sauce. So let's get cooking. Now to start off, we're going to be needing some fish. And today, we're going to be using some place. It has a nice and firm texture, ideal for this dish. And it doesn't rig up that typical fish smell you know of. So we just roughly chopped this up, because we're anyway going to throw it into a blender. So don't worry about too much details. And alongside with that, we're going to throw in some chopped up ginger and freshly sliced lemongrass. Now if you have problems with the cutting, I'll leave a link in the description to my Tom Kha Kai recipe, where I show you how to prepare lemongrass. We're also going to add some slice of garlic, and freshly squeezed lemon juice. Some red curry paste of your choice. Also some cilantro, you can't leave that out. And let me just mix that in for a bit, just to combine everything nicely. We're also going to add a bit of coconut milk, and then mix the hell out of it. So what we want in the end is a texture very reminiscent to this right now. Mmm, subtle. And if you're thinking right now, man, that looks pig shit ugly. Well, then you're absolutely right. But don't worry too much, we want this consistency. And in the end, everything will work out just fine. So into that mixture, we're going to throw in some flour. And mix everything in together. And when that's done, we cover that with some plastic foil and lay it in the fridge for about two hours. And while we wait, we can begin with the sweet sour sauce. Now what I got here is some pineapple from the can. I know, I'm not particularly proud of using some from the can, but in my defense, it was not common or available at this time of the year. But bear with me, this works equally as well. So we drain out the pineapple and don't discard the juices. We need that for later. We then mush everything together with the back of the fork. We still want some texture in it, but not like a pureed mass. And into a pan covered with some sesame oil, we're going to chuck in that pineapple and stir it around on medium heat for a few minutes. Not too long, we don't want to burn it. So after that, we're going to throw in some soy sauce, the juices of the pineapple, and some brown sugar. And stir everything in nicely. Now in the events it should look a bit runny, you can use some sauce thickener, just to give it a nice consistency. But in the end, it should pretty much look like this. Nice and thick, a sweet and sour taste, just the way I like it free from all those artificial flavors and crap you know of. So with that done, we can start arranging the fish sticks. We take a handful of the mixture, press it onto a stick of lemongrass, and push everything together, so it should look like this. Then in another pan covered with sesame oil, we take them and cook them over medium heat for about 5 minutes, each side. Now you can of course deep fry them, that's totally up to you. I just like it this way. So we fry each side, and we'll do that for the other four pieces as well. And with that done, it's time for serving. And let me tell you, this is a fun recipe to make. I love the fish mixture and the lemongrass in combination with the sweet sour sauce. Ideal as a party snack or any other special occasion. Give this a go, you won't regret it. So, I hope you enjoyed this recipe, and I'll see you soon when I'm back in the kitchen. Ollie in the kitchen. Until then, take care.